Hello everyone, I'm Giuseppe Basile, also known as the FIPS Talker, and you can find me at FIPSTalkerTrading.com. In this video, I'm going to review for you four futures, the SP500, the dollar index, the uh, mini silver futures, and the mini gold futures. Let's start from the SP500. In this video, I feature uh, my FIPS Talker Metals Coaching Program, as well as uh, the levels uh, of the FIPS Talker Methods and uh, let's start from the weekly time frame here. As you know, if you follow my analysis in the last few years, we actually are training uh, a sequence uh, of extension and uh, the last sequence uh, was identified by tracing from the highs uh, that we saw in 2000s on the futures to new highs, uh, recent new highs mid of 2015 here and that gave us an area of participation was retested twice was retested in August, September 2015, and then again at the beginning of the year. This level, despite uh, what is showing here, price has been respected. The reason why this is showing uh, uh, being broken here is just because price is recalculated as new contract is buying. So this market has not reached that first target yet. And what we're looking at, it's a potential start of a, a correction here. And as we mentioned in the previous week, this market is, um, since the start of this sequence in the 18 area here, this market has moved higher in extension. So the first participation came in 1986 here, price hit to 2172 and this price is now the potential to come back into the next measure move. And if you look at current price of uh, uh, current um, uh, current contract, uh, which is which expires in December, you may see this market moving into the 2020 area, which is what we have been, uh, which is the level we have been looking at recently. So. When we, um, in order to, in order to know the reason why this, this market is holding up, uh, this, uh, we need to um, uh, use uh, a different model, and we use uh, the smart money model, which is represented by uh, Algos and smart money um, trading uh, along with these levels. And I have a second model that uh, I used to explain um, the reason why sometimes we get reactions. Uh, from certain areas, and this is a value long area, as you can see, when price, according to this area, the price actually pounced, uh, as you can see here, and uh, the uh, 20, the 13 EMA here, weekly um, EMA, which is the decline you see here, has been, um, has been working as a support so far, and this market is now dipping into this area, so my anticipation is that this market is going to move into the um, the lower band the lower band here of this area and potentially uh, eventually is going to break this area now, this is also um, seasonally is also a period when we see corrections in the market and as i mentioned uh, i'm looking for uh, eventually a correction by end of october beginning of november um, when uh, possibly uh, the um, the news coming from uh, US election should actually possibly start a new uh, move higher or uh, just uh, confirm a move lower here. And a lot of people are worried about a bear market. A bear market can start at any time. However, before we can actually conclude that the market started a bear market, we need to see not only the 1978 bridge on the downside, but also the uh, 1782 bridge on the downside with a close below uh, below this level here. Uh, and after that, uh, um, you know, this market could still bounce uh, and put up a, a mild retrace into previous size if that happened to that to 2090 or even a previous size 2200 but only if the market gets below that level which is not uh, what I'm looking for or anticipating at the moment moving to the 
dollar index and it's pretty interesting market here and you will remember then uh, I said that this 94.50 which initially has not held here this is an extension along uh, from the highs in uh, previous years particularly IC 2012 to new highs here there is as held for six time and eventually in uh, the end of April here beginning of May as pierced and uh, after that though this market has not continued lower but rather has found participation in this 94.50 in fact in one of the interviews um, at FX Street I also mentioned that if the market uh, would find this market would find supported this area this could be a potential indication that um, uh, an interest rate uh, high could uh, could be in the cards here now what we're seeing here we're seeing 9680 uh, which was the upper bound of this of this area uh, not holding so if this market goes above 97 91 98 we're gonna have a confirmed conditions of sideways market here and this is going to uh, actually um, uh, represent even more side sidewise for, uh, for sideways for this market until the either the high here it's broken on the upside or the low obviously if the high is broken on the upside here that would mean an intervention on the interest rate uh, by the Fed and this would obviously would be would not be positive for the stock market but at the same time would actually um, generate a correction and uh, whether that correction is going to turn in a, in a bear market we are not we don't know that but if that's the case we'll take advantage of that as well now moving to uh, silver silver has been a pretty um, uh, good technical market here we saw this market respecting a sequence of measure moves um, as you as you will remember, which were some of these measured moves uh, in February and March during the when I held the uh, uh, FX Street Tokyo uh, open uh, room on uh, on FX Street daily, and we actually traded these measured moves 15-20 into first and second target. We saw the uh, extension fail, and then. We traded the, uh, the next uh, measured move in the trend continuation area here and we made this call well before the fact in fact this move here was known four weeks in advance price got into 1620 and then uh, it actually um, there was participation and the market went in again the first and second target and again so we saw the same pattern repeating here the next measured move failed which told us that this market could move into the uh, old oil free back here now uh, mind that this is a weekly time frame and uh, and actually we mentioned that possibility um, when this bar pierced this level here so with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven weeks ten weeks in advance we knew the 1770 could be retested and and eventually the market went into testing the level so what could happen next how do we use the information to to understand what could happen next first of all this market uh, has been uh, obviously on the daily in control from uh, the from uh, by uh, by pairs and we can see this on the weekly as well the 1990 acted as a resistance twice and pushed this price into the first target and into the area where we knew this market could move now if there is no participation in this area which means if the dollar index continues higher we're going to see this market moving into the uh, next target that's 1670 so if you short this market there's no reason at this point to uh, anticipate a move higher uh, not yet at least a confirmation on the weekly and daily would only arrive if the market goes above 90 or three. of course you're not interested in trading something like that because would any in any case study uh, a failure in a smaller time frame uh, at the at this, uh, this at the moment i want to keep looking at the uh, down downside here and this market keeps moving lower and gets below that's uh, 1670 there we're going to model a continuation lower into previous lows by tracing from previous lows to new lows 
and that would be our retrace uh, to continue shorting this market and gold uh, gold uh, obviously has been following the same uh, the same sequence here when we look at the larger time frame we also have an extension that uh, has pierced uh, and uh, we mentioned that when that happens there is a possibility for the market to go and retrace all the way halfway back this market uh, differently from from silver has not tested this level yet that's going to be uh, that that's very possible we see the same sequence of measure move in this market as you can see here and as you can see this market has already touched the second target so if the, if this market retraces we're going to uh, look for a short around uh, 1275 that's where the next short in um, uh, gold is and the first target of that shot would be right on top of that 1224 so for the time being although this is an extension it could push price lower into 1205 i would actually uh, try to respect uh, that as the level uh, of target for a short starting at 1275 so these are the opportunity for this week uh, in the sp500 dollar index uh, silver and gold if you have any questions, you can send me um, you can send me a message at uh, Fibstalker on Twitter, or you can reach me uh, at fibstalkertrading.com. Thanks for watching.